Hi everyone. So today I will do a, a video how to disassemble this massage gun. This is actually some some specific model, I guess. Uh, and there is plenty of different models, but this is FH three hundred twenty. But I think most of them are are very are very similar. So first things first, um, I will disassemble everything. Uh, for the battery, you need to disassemble this top part as well. You cannot take the battery without disassembling this, this top part. And I will show you why. So let's first disassemble everything and uh, and uh, and then see step by step. As well, the motor, I can disassemble it. So I will show how to disassemble everything. So first thing is just to take the here the front part as well. Sorry about the noise of police around. Um, so here you have uh, four screws. So first take all of these. Here you will need the this uh, Phillips screwdriver PH1, like with uh, size two. So just a normal normal uh, screwdriver. And I think for for all the screws here for the back and uh, everywhere you need to use to use this screwdriver. So we can take these four, but you will not be able then to take here the top part because of this back part over here. So first let's take here the back part actually. So and just unscrew this screw over here. If it wants to come come out. Yes it does. Okay, so this and then just rotate a little bit here and pull it out. So, and here you will see these, these couple of cables. Uh, I suggest uh, before taking these out, take a picture or make a, a schema what connects to what because, uh, because then might not be work properly if you don't do it. So. Uh, since I'm filming, I know what is what, but here in this case is blue and red on the left side, and uh, and uh, the the yellow and blue in the right side. So here you can just pull it with your fingernail fingernails, or if you have some some small uh, some small um, tweezers, you can use them as well. So this with hand should be enough. Sometimes you need to wiggle them a little bit and then it, it does it does come out and now we can take here these four four screws here in the bottom that I mentioned earlier so let's take these out ones out and I will fast forward okay I just took uh, three screws out one is over here doesn't seem that wants to come out very easily. Maybe it's stuck somewhere here in the inside. I'm trying to take it, but it's just spins doesn't come out. And then you just basically pull pull this top part out. Should come out pretty quick, easy. And um, here you can see here the the screw doesn't actually doesn't want to to go out but it's not a big deal um, then this is the motor over here so how to take it so uh, you will need to here to take the front part out so you can see here a screw in the middle so just take out this screw and this front part as well should come out at some at some point but here first you take out that screw and then you'll need to take here this one here on the top as well sometimes this one can get loose like I have another video can put the link so sometimes this can 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 go out of place as well so here to take the this and just pull it up you see and then you you take it take it out from from here from the place and now we can take here the the motor itself so these four screws one two three four and that's 
should be it for, for the motor. And now the screws are out, then you will just basically pull it up and uh, it should come come out pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, I will show how to disassemble this a little later, so let's put it to the side for now. And now to take here the front part, if you need to take all this front part, now I can just take here some, some part, part, part in the middle that just holds the here, actually this front can see it's you have there two holes then it's these two holes that basically holds this so this would not come out from from that side so so that's why it comes from from the front and if you need to take this front part out um, you will need to this to take out these three screwdrivers uh, these through three screws uh the bottom one is the most difficult one so if it had the motor basically it would be very tricky to to take it because you cannot fit there a, a screwdriver properly so i mean so the best is to take the motor out and only then unscrew these ones so let's take them out as well Okay, and that's it, it actually just fell right away, so that's it. And this is the front part, and here you have some, some rubber that as well as well comes comes out if you need to, to take it out. So that's that's that. Let's put it to the side as well. And now how to take the battery. So for the battery uh, you will need to come here to the bottom and have here a sticker actually I was already here digging it, digging it out so you just come here with some tweezers and uh, then try to 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 take all these because here you will have like three three screws so you will need to take all of these three to be able to take the the battery out so let's let's take these ones and as you see, all of these is uh, Philips screwdriver and always the same size, so don't need other any other tool. So this one is is enough. Okay, and now I just open it, and you can see here there is the battery and there is some some foam. So sometimes you cannot pull it this by hand. So what I do, I go through the other side. And with the back of the tweezers, because should be something that is not sharp. Because if it's sharp, you can can blow up uh, the battery. So just pull gently down, and then it comes out here in the other side, and that's it. And uh, in this case, you could not take the battery out from the just here and screwing here the bottom part because you have here this cable, and you have this connector over here and if you see i will put it there if you if you have the motor the motor here this part of the of the wire will not will not pass here in this in this corner oh, i can show you we can see if i now try to take the battery out you can see here this this it doesn't want to go out and you know you can break the you can break the wire see it doesn't so over there it doesn't it doesn't pass so you always need to take the motor out in order to take to take the battery out so there is no avoidance over over here unless you cut the cables so then if you want to connect it again later on or you need to the replace you always need to take the the motor itself so in general this is how you disassemble it um for the motor i will show you can disassemble this as well so I will show how, how to do it. So first, uh, here you need to be careful then because here inside there is some brushes. So you should be careful because they can jump around. Uh, and usually all the motors have uh, this kind of brushes. So so just for you to, to be aware. 
So let's take it out. So we need to unscrew, I think, uh, let's take out first these two here and these two. And so these four, let's see what we can do from there. So, and now we can take the top here. If you want, you can take all the others, bro. Then it will be easier to take all, all of these over here because because this is basically here just just the cover that holds here the the motor on this on this end. So in the end, uh, you can take all the screws first first of all. So I took it, but better to take all of them. Okay, and I think that's all of them. So over here it comes out this part, so you should open this very slowly because of the of the brushes. So you can see here already the brushes, you know. One of them and and the other. And as well. Uh, you can you can take this this one this one out. Uh, these, let me see how we can take, okay, so we need to press over here in this, so better to get the tweezers, to get tweezers and you see uh, here two holes, so you just press here and press in, and then this top part over here in the back should come out, sometimes it's a bit difficult, let's see if we can manage. Okay, one side, just, I'm just pressing over here, you can see, it's a bit hard to show. Let's see if I can show here on camera. Okay, I'm pressing up red, and as you can see, it comes out, because I'll, I'll show exactly what Okay, it fell. So here you have here in the side some uh, that holds in place. So you need to press it basically a bit, a bit uh, inward this side and uh, from the other side as well, inward from that side. So to bend it a little bit to be able to to pull it out. And then here the wire itself as well. It comes out. It comes all out to all with the spring, so, and, and that's it. And the other side basically is the, it's exactly the same thing. So let's see if we can press it and push it out and it just comes out. So, and as well, the wire, as you see, comes out. And I will put it here in order just to, just to know, so. This side was blue and uh, this side was, was the red one. I think it's not very important what side is what, but but just to be just to be sure. And now it comes out easier this part. And here you have the you have the motor that you can see I'm pressing but this has here the immense all this uh, and on all the sides so it's a bit tricky to take it out so and uh, you can see here the motor basically everything uh, everything is out uh, uh one thing that it can happen that uh, for example doesn't work is that here is very might be very dirty here it's already started you see a little bit uh here it's because of the um, of the brush brushes that they contact something like that you know and then they build up some this is some kind of carbon i think uh, and it builds here some some access in this in this in the sides so so you might need to at some point to clean it you can clean it with uh, with some ipa and with some uh, with some uh, q tips you can use this uh, the um, this pen this is fiberglass pen you can can clean it but usually the best is just to to use some some Q-tips and clean this, and if you have an issue with this, uh, 
for example, now I don't have an issue, but you see, I'm already cleaning there and it, it comes out. So in general, uh, you can clean it if you, if you want open or if the motor is not working for some reason, you can check these, these, uh, the motor itself might be here an issue with, with this, or sometimes it's these brushes here that, uh, you know, they, they are being used. Uh, so if it's just a little bit left, you might need to, to replace these by, by new ones. So in general, this is how you disassemble the massage gun. So you can see plenty of things here to, to disassemble. You might not disassemble the motor, you might not need, but I did everything just in case you, you need everything. I think nothing, nothing more else needs to be disassembled. Okay, if you want to take this part out, you just take these screws out, these three screws, and then this pops up as well and has here the button in the back. But besides that, uh, I think nothing, nothing more. If you want something more related to this, just let me know in the comments section and maybe I can create another video related to this or answer it in the, in the comments itself. So I hope you liked this one. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next one.